Hello, and welcome to Cole's Backyard Coop. It's been a little while since I did a video, um, but look how big these chicks have grown. They are now six weeks old, and I wanted to bring you an updated video on them and what's been happening so that you could see just how enormous they are. They are growing really fast. This is one of my little Delawares right here. She's beautiful. That's another Delaware there. Um, so they're six weeks old. They're all growing really fast, very nicely. Uh, at this age, you can go ahead and um, have the ability to sex them. So I'm able to look and tell which ones are males and females. That's one of my little buffs. Look how, look how sweet they are. My babies love to be touched. Come here, baby, come here. So this is a buff Warpington, and you can see by the very small shrunken comb on her head that you can barely see, that's a great indicator of a female. And as you can see as we go around, all of them have very small combs. That's a black astrolorp. There's a total of 15 in here. Now it's a little different on an Americana, the, like this one right here. When they look at you straight ahead like that, you see one single straight row, that's a female. However, when we look at, yeah, you can look at this one up here too. That's a beautiful coloring on this Americana. She's really pretty. She's got bluish color, but look at her comb. It's just a straight line. However, I do have one. This guy right here. See how big that comb is on the front of the head there? That is a rooster. It's a very pretty rooster, but an Americana rooster. But you just see how big that comb is right there. I'll try to zoom in on it if I can for you. See that right there? Very large and pronounced. That is a good sign of a male right there. And that's what you want to look for when you're trying to sex them yourself. I mean, of course, the main way to sex is continue just to wait until they get older, but I've been able to um, sex them at about four to six weeks. Now, when you look at this one's comb, she'll turn around for me. Come here, baby. You'll see that it's very small and narrow. And it looks like, interestingly enough, I think I have all females and just that one male over there, which is very cool. Um, I have 15 in here total, so I'm planning to only keep 12 for the new coop. That's going to be my little teaser at the end, showing you that the new coops arrived, it's in place, we've been working on it. And that's part of the reason I haven't made a video lately is because uh, I've been really busy working on the new coop every weekend after I get home from work and all that. My two buff Warping Tens, very pretty girls. And the Delawares. Oh, and my little Bard Rock. Hello, darling. But yes, when they have a really tiny comb, by six weeks, if it's a male, the comb's going to be really pronounced. You're going to see it sticking up pretty high. That's one of my golden sex legs. What do you want? You going to try to talk on the phone or be the center of attention? But they're just super sweet. This is one of my Americanas. She's kind of a blue-black. Really pretty. But yeah, so far I'm waiting another couple of weeks. By eight weeks for sure, you're going to know which ones are males, which ones are females. Um, at this point, they're eating a lot of um, fresh treats. I've already introduced that, as I said in a pri prior video. I introduced that at um, 
week one to week two, everything's a jungle gym to them. They jump up on everything. So this area I'm not so worried about anymore because it's going to be the former coop. And they're all sleeping up here on the roost at night. It's really cool to watch them. Oh, it's really cool to watch them all fly up there and sleep just in a single row. All together, they're really inquisitive. Look at them. Come here, honey. Come here. Oh, you love you, Mom. Oh, I know. I love you, too. Hey, no tasting. No tasting. It's another thing. You want to make friends with your chicks. Since they were smaller, I come in and I put my hand down in the pen so that they can walk up to me. They can kind of get used to me. They're not scared. They're not flighty. I can pet them. I can pick them up. This one loves to be touched over here. But you can just do that. You can just walk right up to them. And they're not going to be real scared of you. That's my other Delaware. That one's a little bit larger than this one. So I've been keeping my eye to see if that's a little roux or not. But the comb is staying pretty small. So that's my indicator that it's probably a hen. But you never know. Hi guys, hi, say hi. But yeah, they're all doing really well. Um, all growing really fast. So let's go see the new coop. We'll walk you over here. And there it is. I got the new coop. We've been painting and getting it set. I had a guy build the coop, but of course it didn't have all the bells and whistles that I wanted. You know, he built a good coop, but we came in and added this trim wood, one by four trim wood right that you see right here. That wasn't there. See, it was just the wire from top to bottom, and I wanted a board across the middle to anchor it. So this is the coop. I'm not going to show you too much of the coop because I'm going to bring that in a separate video, a tour of the coop when it's completely finished. And then I'll also do a video when we put the girls in there for the first time, which is coming probably within a couple of weeks. Um, so, and I've decorated it with some rocks down there. But for now... That's all you get of the coop. So that's your teaser. Back over here, we'll say bye to the girls one more time and boys. And they will be moving to their new home probably in the next couple of weeks. And then this will become a lawn shed like it's supposed to be. But it's been a great coop for eight years, so... It's hard to clean though with all the shavings here and, all, and that. On the other coop, it won't be all shavings. It'll be mostly dirt and just shavings inside the inside part, the hen house, which that sign will be going on my new coop, of course. I love that sign. So anyway, from Cole's Backyard Coop, just wanted to bring you an update. Feel free to like the video, ask any questions, um, if you're not sure how to suck your own chicks, I could give you a few pointers maybe, but the biggest pointer I can give you is comb size. When you see that comb really small and yellow, there's no redness to it, um, that's a sure way to know. On Americanas, the females have one single little very small, non-pronounced comb. You see that one right in front of me there? And then, like I showed you on the male there, they have kind of three, three little rows. And it sticks up and it's pronounced. So that's your best way to know. Hi. What you doing? You want to have a little touch? Oh, I know. I know. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm sorry I haven't given you an update lately. It's been a few weeks. 
But this is how they're doing. They're monsters. They're growing really fast and eating like little horses. I have to... I bought a brand new feeder and, and water container to put in the new coop that is going to be suspended from the ceiling hanging. And i um, really excited to bring you a full tour of the coop and a video of them going into their new coop for the first time. So feel free to like the video. Again, ask questions. Uh, follow us if you'd like. It's always interesting adventures in the backyard coop. So have a great afternoon. And happy chicken keeping. Say bye. Say bye. Oh, don't peck at the phone. Don't peck at the camera. Say bye.